its top speed of 210 kilometers per hour in a Polestar 2 and holds it quite well. The ride is very smooth and stable. Pretty amazing, honestly, for such an affordable electric car. So hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, yes, you can see it, we are back with a test drive again and you can likely see it already by that logo that this is the first time that we're actually driving a Polestar car, not only a normal one, but of course one with the performance pack you can see by those yellow seat belt. This is the Polestar 2, the entirely new model. It got 408 HP, more or less 660 Newton meters of torque. And we will head on the Autobahn using the drift box, which is actually right behind there. You can see it because the cable is not long enough, but we can still measure the times going to 100, also 100 to 200. I hope that the car is doing 100 to 200 because it's electronically limited at 205. So it might reduce speed already before 200 kilometers, but let's still see how fast the car goes and then of course also compare the numbers to other electric cars that we have driven. So let's put everything in the most sporty setting um, and head out. Now see how fast the Polestar 2 goes from 100 to 200 rolling start on the Autobahn. So we just stopped by. What we now managed to do is a time of 4.8 seconds to 100, which I think is pretty close to what the factory claims. Considering the fact that we were two people in the car and had some additional weight, I think this is exactly what you should expect. Also, it's a bit higher temperature today. Still, the car was doing the acceleration just fine. Secondly, the number that we did from 100 to 200 was 13.5 seconds, which I honestly did not expect that this pull through on autobahn speed is that nice. Means more or less that we have a performance of this car which is very close to something like a Golf R or a T-Roc R that we recently tested which of course have a transmission have a gasoline engine with at least 300 horsepower and therefore I guess this is a very reasonable number for such an electric car which is not let's say not in the hyper performance area but in the very affordable let's say 60,000 euro car area because that more or less means you can spend 60,000 euros on a Golf R or you can spend the same money on an electric car and it delivers you the same zero to 200 time and of course a lot more environment friendly driving that you have and therefore yeah very very interesting experience that we have with this car today we of course will have some more fun on the country road and you will also get a lot more stuff on instagram with some cool photos in, in nice locations